Uvalde Radio, your concert station. Some live William Clark Green right there. Remedy off the live at Cheatham Street. And uh, excited, man. Just kind of what's your appetite to get you excited about the big show. Friday, July 8th at House Pasture Cattle Company in Concan. Uvalde Radio is excited to welcome back William Clark Green. And with me on the phone, I got William. Welcome, sir. Thanks for having me on. Man, thanks so much for uh, taking some time out of your busy schedule to check in and get us all jazzed up for the big show coming up. Uh, are you pumped to get back to Uvalde County, back to Concan? Yeah, it's always uh, always unbelievably gorgeous down there. So I got a feeling it's going to be hot, though. Admittedly, like, we're actually in the middle of a drought here, so the uh, it's going to be like not so much floating, but maybe bumping your knees along the Frio River if you get in the water. <laughs> but, but, you know, we take the good hey, with the bad. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that before, and it works out just as well. It's just, just as many fun. beers get just as many beers get dropped. I was gonna say, just as long as you get that cold beer, that cooler next to you, it's all good, right? Uh, numbs the yeah. pain from the scratches <laughs> and bumps. But uh, man, William, it's, it's excited to have you. Um, we got a brand new record, so new material to talk about. Let's go ahead and get right into the record, man. Baker Hotel, right? Yeah. So you got a brand new single off it, which we're going to get on the air here in just a moment. But let me right out of the bat say, this is such a great sounding record. And I mean, like, you're, you're always such a fantastic songwriter. The material is always good. But I think sonically, it's just a little different. And and what I mean is, I think there are textures and sounds and even even places where maybe there's a dry vocal and, you know what I mean, a, a little... I don't know, there's something different about this record. What, what's, I guess, give us the, the process of the putting the songs together and then the recording, uh, what was different this time around? Uh, well, this time around, we had uh, we brought back our producer from Roseman Ringling Road, Rachel Boy, and we also this is the first record we've done in Texas since Misunderstood. So I think that had a lot to do with it too. I think that just you know we did there's only four of us in the studio at the time, and uh, and it just kind of let it let the record breathe a little bit instead of choking it up and. Uh, we, you know, it was, we recorded over COVID, so we couldn't have people in the studio anyway. So there were just four of us, and we just kind of made do with what we had. And the one thing that we had were unbelievably talented musicians. So all the fluff that we normally do is wasn't there, which kind of worked out. So I think that's like the biggest thing was just like we kind of did what we had to do in the moment, and ended up being kind of a cool thing. Well, it sounds fantastic. It's a great batch of songs. Um, as far as the as far as the songwriting goes, I'm sure you had some collaborations. Let's talk about who you worked with to, to get the the songs actually together. Man, one of the biggest uh, songwriters, uh, you know, the, the guy that was the most helpful. I wrote with a bunch of songwriters, but Drew Kennedy. I wrote half the record with Drew Kennedy. Wow. Uh, he's a fantastic songwriter. Uh, but yeah, same kind of same as the last few records. Ross Cooper wrote title track. Ross Cooper, uh, he wrote Ringling Road with me and and a uh, handful other songs. And uh, you know, like I said, over the over COVID, kind of kind of did a bunch of Zoom writes, which was mm-hmm. different and more interesting. So as opposed to just flying to Nashville and doing it. So, but yeah, I'd say the best. You know, Drew Kennedy. I mean, I wrote with John Bauman, Josh Kreider, uh, Randall King, Max Stalling, Zane Williams. Uh, and man, just really, really tried to write with people that I, that I really list that I listen to, you know, that I that I listen to on my phone, you know. That's why I wanted to write with on this record. Now we've had a couple of years since this pandemic thing happened, and I think you can, I think we can fairly uh, do maybe a hindsight on, you know, uh, I guess being in the same room songwriting versus like he's talking about Zoom, you know, kind of conferencing and stuff. Um, what are the positives and or negatives on both options at the, now that you got a little bit of a, like I said, hindsight? Well, the positive from Zoom writes is I can write, I can write a song from 10 to 2, <laughs> and I can go play golf from 2 to 5. <laughs> and I can be home for dinner. Nice. I mean, that's the best, uh, that's the best thing about Zoom writes. I mean, going to Nashville, and you know you don't you only have so much time in the day, so you try to do two rights a day, and it just it's just a lot, you know. And you're just worn out by the time you do it, and, and you're gone away from home and kind of sleep on someone's couch. The zoo ride's amazing that people, you know, we never really thought about it before. I'm sure guys did it, but we never really utilized it until we had to songwriters because uh, we just never thought it would work. But hell, I think everyone's really enjoyed the privacy of their own home. I think everyone enjoyed, you know. Once they're done with the right, they don't have their 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 home, or they can do whatever they want to do, and and so I really enjoyed the Zoom rights personally because I don't have to go to Nashville, and I, I don't like going to Nashville. <laughs> well, now now on the flip side, what are the obstacles with that Zoom writing? Yeah, I, I think hearing just hearing a little bit. It just depends. Like 
I guess uh, it just depends on who you're riding with, too. Like a guy, a guy that bangs on his guitar the entire time, like it's it's really difficult. Uh. But a guy, but getting someone that that's quiet on the guitar and 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 is more melodic and and likes to think through songs and take you know take breaks, like that's the dream boat right there. So yeah, I'd say the guys that like the rockers that like just bang on guitars the whole time through rides, like that doesn't really translate through Zoom because you can't really hear what they're doing anyways. Uh-huh. So it's got to be more of a low, low volume thing, if that makes sense. Makes total sense. So there you go. Some William Clark Green, some insight on songwriting Zoom, songwriting etiquette. So uh, keep that in mind, guys. <laughs> so uh, it is a great record. You mentioned the title track, uh, Baker Hotel, which I think is such a standout track. It's so different, I think, uh, than the, the vast majority of your work. Uh, and then the album art, which is kind of spooky. It's kind of got this horror kind of vibe. Now, now, William, your album art, and I've been meaning to talk to you about this over the years, you, you've always got some fantastic um, album covers. Tell me what the inspiration of, of I guess, the title track, uh, the album art, and then let's talk about the past album covers as well. Well, the, the Baker Hotel is the inspiration. It, that's a hotel in Menor Wells mm-hmm. um, that I've known about for years at the Lafayette Hotel. And, um, and, yeah, I just heard stories of growing up uh, of kids that would break into the hotel and try to get to the top. And I thought that was really <laughs> cool. And that's like such an American thing, you know, like American horror, like Goonies type Sandlot, like type vibe. Like that's what I was kind of going for. Yeah. It, it seems so Ameri- It seems so American, you know, like Hardy Boys, you know, like these, these young kids who are, you know, they're delinquents, but they're, you know, they're going to be good citizens one day, but they're, you know, they're just in high, you know, middle school. They're, you know, starting to learn all the bad things about, you know, life. And, and that was kind of the idea of, like, the South Park type, you know, Goonies, Sandlot type thing, you know. And, yeah, it's just, it's like, classic Americana, right? So, like, uh, that's that was kind of the vibe for it. It's like Monster Mash, um, spooky kind of deal. So, but the artwork is, is just so easy for me because, I just tell the Dodds what I'm thinking in my head. The Dodd sisters out of Austin, uh-huh. and they just they've done every every one of my albums, and they have just put it to life. So, so they've worked on all the all the album covers, huh? Everyone after Misunderstood. So R- Rose Queen, Ringling Road, Aber Allen, and this one. So they're this is their fourth. And where did you discover them? Um, I think it was my previous manager, but they did uh, they won a Grammy with Reckless Kelly's artwork. Wow, okay. um, they're pretty well known. I mean, and and plus just they're heavily involved in the scene and that festival so you just kind of run into them you know so yeah. i've just i've known them for so long i couldn't even tell you where i met them you know what i mean well it's it's a fantastic uh again the, the title track is really cool the album cover just really you know nails that uh it really hits it on the head it's really cool so um all in all man uh, we're excited to have the new record it's been out a few months um what is the reception that the i guess the fan response been so far uh, everything's been great. We, you know, we put out the music video for Baker, and we just put out a new music video for All You Got, which is our current single. And so, uh, it's just been really fun having the content and uh, and a really good record that we believe in to push it all. So we're we're in a really good place with it. Well, let's talk about music video shoots then. So um, I guess post pandemic was uh, the video shoot kind of back to back to normal kind of thing. Um, kind of. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I still don't know if we're back to normal. Right. I, I can't tell. It's sometimes I feel like we are, and sometimes I feel like there's still reservation. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I don't really know. Um, that's a really good question. Um, <laughs> All right. It, well, man, it's, it seems like everything is just kind of kind of working for you, man. It's great to have great new material out. Um, now, let's talk about the band. I mean, as far as um, how, how the guys... Uh, is everything? I, I know things were uncertain for a while during that pandemic. It's probably hard to uh, to pay the the band of the crew. Is everything cool? Did you did you lose any guys? To, uh, how's the band current? Is it the same guys that you've always worked with? No, we had we we paid our guys. We tried to pay our guys. We got to like the end of July, and then they had to go on unemployment. Mm-hmm. Um, unfortunately, we didn't lose anybody. Uh, we were able to get them back off unemployment. I think in January of uh, 2021. So um, uh, and we just we just hustled. You know, we hustled everything we could do, and, and we just got back to work. And so, everything, everyone did the best they could with the situation they were given, and and uh, you know, and we we're all ready to move on. So, uh, everybody is fired up about the tour that we're about to go on, and actually get back and start seeing the country again. Uh, you know, we've been touring kind of locally around Texas, Oklahoma, mm-hmm. uh, and so it's it's exciting to get back up north and and start going that that direction uh, too. So. 
So let's go and talk about the show coming up on uh, Friday, July 8th over at House Pasture in Concan. Uh, William Clark Green in concert. Get your tickets at housepasture.com. Uh, William, tell me, um, what can we expect, man, as far as a live show? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure the hits. I'm sure some new music. Uh, just give us an idea of how, how the band's feeling and uh, what you're going to bring live. No, it's got to be rowdy. And yeah, a handful of new songs, too. So we've got a, a whole new show, and it'll be rowdy. Well, very good, man. Well, thanks so much for carving out some time to uh, to talk to us here. Um, I guess tell us um, the best ways to find the record and, uh, I guess, website stuff, you know, and if you've got any other cool things. I, I didn't really ask about this, but I'm sure you might have some high-profile shows or festivals or something like that that you might want to uh, throw a plug out there for. I mean, everything that we have is on our website, WayneClarkGreen.com, uh, and we're on all the socials, too. So just drop us a line, check it out. Uh, we got merch online, all that stuff. So we'd rather see you at a show singing along, though. So we'll see y'all in Concan. Right on. Again, the show is Friday, July 8th, House Pasture in Concan. Let's go ahead and do that new track, the uh, the lead single off Baker Hotel. It's called All You Got. You want to give us a quick little intro as to what this number's about? Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> it's talks about a, uh, a relationship that has failed. Right on, man. Well, again, William Clark Green, see him live at House Pasture. This one's All You Got. It's Valley Radio, your concert station. Thank you, sir. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Hey.